Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel Chemical Engineer. I am Sahil Yadav and in this video we are going to start our new playlist that is going through with the DW sim. So as for a basic you all should know what is DW sim. It is a basically a software of simulation for chemical plants. So in this playlist we are going to learn how to create all the flow sheets in DWC and how to get better results and how to predict its behavior and all everything that we will cover in this playlist. So first of all you should have installed DWC in your PC like I have this one. So for this video we will be starting with the basics how to start a DW sim so before starting please subscribe to the channel so that you will get all the updates regarding chemical engineering and all the other subjects so let's begin first of all click on DW sim icon that you have downloaded I have 7.4.0 version of DW sim so let it open so once it opens okay so it is showing that updates are available but I don't want to install updates so please if you get this message click on cancel and if you want to install you can install it now this window opens once you click on DWC icon here you have many options like first of all process modeling in which we have to model some process we have to create flow sheet or we have to model something that is what we are going to do throughout this playlist second we have DW sim pro so as we are free version users we don't deal with this option okay user compound creation data regression okay so if you want to do data regression we will see this later okay so not now and then DW sim social that is not for our use we have to go for process modeling so in process modeling there are two options create new with wizard and second is load existing now suppose if you are working already with this DW sim you can click on load existing but as we are a new user we will click on create new so let us discuss what in this screen we have so here we have file edit tools windows view and help that is of not our use in this quick access we have recent files this will show the files that we have already created and we have already worked on second option is sample fossi flow sheets so these are the let's click on it Okay, so these are the flow sheets that are already uploaded on DWSIM open software web page. So, okay, so you can click on any of this to view them. We will see it later on. You can click on it. Okay, let us see. Suppose I click on the first one. Okay, so this guy did the plot of P versus XY. So PXY diagram has been P or X diagram has been plotted by this guy for one to dichloroethane slash N heptane binary mixture. Okay, so that is how you can get the idea of what he has done. Okay, so currently we are not dealing with this. We are not going to save any changes. All right. Now where is the main screen? Okay, so main screen is here only we will click on this first icon is for creating a new wizard okay so you will get confused so I start it again from the beginning clicking on DW sim you can see here I have version 7.4.0 you may have different version of it no update click on create new with wizard once you click on it 
it will open a window named simulation one if you are creating for the first time it may create another name but you should be having clear idea that this window should open so here we have simulation configuration wizard here we have first introduction so we don't need to deal with this second we should know what we are going to simulate or what we are going to do with dwc so we second we have to select a compounds like let us start with a c plus o2 a combustion simple combustion reaction so carbon plus oxygen will give you carbon dioxide it may also give carbon monoxide so you should know whatever or whichever product that may form from your reaction so add all those compounds so let us begin with first here we have a search bar in which my pot pointer is here you have to search carbon and press enter once you click on carbon it will select a carbon user selected select it okay after carbon what we are going to make carbon dioxide select it as well carbon monoxide select it as well let us select all those things which may be possible possibly form from carbon these things are not needed mainly carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide is enough and we need oxygen so let us search for oxygen as well o x y g e n and click on enter oxygen is already selected okay so this is done okay so this 1 2 3 4 5 6 six items have already been selected you can also select water hydrogen anything that is taking place in your reaction you can select it let us select air as well because oxygen is present in air only so let us select air as well done this tick mark shows that you have added those things in your simulation once you are done you should click on next click on next okay so next is property package in upcoming videos we will discuss what different types of property packages are there and what application they have and in which reaction we should use this type of property package so for property package selection you should know the basics of thermodynamics so if you know th thermodynamics you can easily select property package there are different types of property package and what their main aim is to uh, they works on different equations that have been created by different scientists and they give different result for same reaction so there is a table that i will discuss in the upcoming videos which will show you in which reaction which property package should be chosen okay so suppose we are doing combustion reaction let us use this nrtl add it pang romishan add it if you don't know which property package you should select you should you should select all the properties like chao cedar or any if you know ls lks or unifac anything you should select all of them if you don't know which property should be used okay so i have selected three nrtl pang robinson and chao sidar property package second here we have one question does this simulation deal with solids don't know is the best answer because we don't know if our reaction will deal with solids or not so let us see don't know okay so here we have one link in which it is shown that which property package should be used if you don't know anything about property package you can click here and find it don't worry we will discuss this in the next video click on next 
now we have different types of system of this units SI, CGS, English, C1, C2, C5 are the system created by the users C1, C2, C3, C4, C5 we will deal with SI so it will give you a temperature in Kelvin, pressure in Pascal and so on everything will be in standard of international SI unit if you select CGS it will show temperature in degree Celsius pressure in ATM gram per second will be the more short and so on you can select it if we select English system it will select its own that is in Fahrenheit pound per feet square so once you have selected all these things you have to click on finish once you click on finish you will get this blank window for simulation in this blank window for simulation there are different tabs available here okay so you can see my mouse pointer different tabs are available here this first is already a directly or selected tag that is showing you as a streams so we have two types of stream material and energy stream so let us select a material stream so what you have to do is you have to press hold this stream icon and place it here directly so this blank window is your simulation window this window is called as simulation window okay so once you create a material list you will see different options for it when you click on some icon that you have added in this simulation list you will get this window open directly so here you can name this stream as stream 1 click on enter alright status is inactive because we haven't selected anything okay so this is a basic video i am not going to simulate it fully on the, in this video so this material stream stream will open here we have different option input data results annotations dynamics and floating tables in this we can manipulate many things that we will see in next video okay so this is all about dw sim basics how to start or how to getting start with pw sim all right here we have different pressure changers here we can add different things separator tanks so we can add tanks separators mixer splitters exchangers heat exchangers and other type of heat exchangers reactors columns here we can add distillation column different columns okay so this is how the basic of dwsim that you should know okay so by next video we will see what are the benefits of using dwsim and we will start creating a flow sheet for some basic reaction all right so thank you for watching and i hope you be connected with me on telegram as well link for downloading dwsim as well as for reading material is provided in my that description section so thank you for watching the video please subscribe me see you soon